country died from drug overdoses in 2022. It's an alarming statistic, one that has personally impacted many of us. But the Chesterfield County Jail is trying to lower this number, and now it is the first and only correctional facility in the country to use FDA-approved technology to help those addicted to opioids. As Raya Bryant explains. How many of you continue to use just to avoid going through withdrawal? And how many of you would have taken an opportunity, had there been such an opportunity, to say you can come off of drugs without withdrawal and do this? For the past six months, the Chesterfield County Jail has been using a new device to help treat opioid withdrawal for many of their inmates suffering from the symptoms. You feel like there's something crawling on your skin. Like it, it's physically very, very painful. It's scary. It's very scary. I wouldn't want anybody to have to go through that. It's very scary. The device is called the Massimo Bridge. All we do is put the battery to the back of the ear, take the electrodes, put them on in the space that we need to, and what it does is just send a pulse, and it helps your body create those natural endorphins to kind of help ease the pain from the withdrawal. The device kicks in within an hour, reducing 85% of those symptoms. It'll then stay on for five days. Michelle Willis is one of 16 patients who has gone through the treatment and has experienced withdrawal at least five times during her life. She says the device has been life-changing. It was, um, it was great. I didn't have to withdraw as bad as I would have if I didn't have the device. I'm very thankful that Chesterfield County Jail had that for me. Officials within the jail were tired of seeing their inmates endure and decided to step in by utilizing this device. For Carrie Rhodes, however, seeing their pain hit home. For me, um, you know, my, my son struggled with substance use disorder. Um, he died of an overdose five years ago. I watched him be in opioid withdrawal. It was the worst thing I've ever watched in my life, and I didn't have the tool. But to have a tool when I watch them suffer, people come in the jail, um, you know, having a tool that stops that or turns that down is important because people should not suffer. But the Chesterfield County Jail can't fight this battle alone. So now if we can get this out into our communities and you're somebody suffering from substance use disorder, if you know there's a way for you to get off of drugs without going through withdrawal, maybe more people will come to the table and entertain recovery. The jail plans to continue the treatment and has started looking at other devices that can help out in the process. For 12 on your side, I'm Ezra Bryant. Stay with us.